Hi folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Today I'll be doing a list of summer fragrances because summer is here. Let me show you our current temperature in Dhaka. It's our capital city. Oh man, it's not showing. Anyway, it's around 24 degrees. <laughs> uh, they say uh, kind of foggy and everything, but then, anyway, it's about 24 degrees, not very warm, but as days go by, as time passes, uh, sun's gonna be up soon and uh, time around 8 a.m. almost here in Dhaka. So basically it's gonna get warm and it's not really the worst yet. We are expecting uh, sort of like a rainy season. Um, it will start raining hopefully soon and it will ease the heat. And also another thing is my scent of the morning here is CK1 summer. Okay, I woke up for the very first time early in the morning because I've been having some uh, sleeping disorder. So anyway, uh, this is pretty nice. I forgot which year it was, I think 2017, 18, no, not 17, maybe later, 2020 perhaps, okay. Really, really nice, freshy uh, for summer. They have this unique twist. So uh, my theme today is morning freshness, okay? When you wake up in the summer, you perhaps want to go for morning walk, okay? Or gym, or just want to just enjoy the cup of tea, you know? Um, like usual, you know, like morning, what do you do? You freshen up, you know, then you have some cup of tea and go for morning walk, perhaps coffee, okay? So these are some fragrances you can wear for warmer setup in the early morning, okay? Uh, this is like a casual style uh, list. It's not the best of all time, but I pick some of my favorites, okay? So first thing I'll start with is this one, David of Cool Water, okay? This is a classic like Aqua Di Gio, CK1. These are like Hall of Famer already. When I started off my journey, this fragrance was already a legend and this is a top seller. Still, it sells a lot for David of. Uh, and I think Cool Water is one of those fragrances, you know, it's like nostalgia, you know, like you put this on and you just remember immediately it transports you back in those times. So I think it can be worn in uh, springtime, summer, as well as perhaps uh, mid fall, okay, like daytime if you're going for work, uh, walk or work. Uh, cool Water doesn't have that maximum push anymore, like it's not a beast mode, but I really enjoy the bitter green uh, aquatic vibe from this. This is called David of Cool Water. Always go for the big bottle. This will last you much longer. Number 14, I think, yeah, I, I did not do the final count. I could have more or less, but I, I hope there are 15. Number 14, I'm going to go with, this is called Dan Hills, and uh, this is the Century Blue, okay? One of the most beautiful looking bottles I've ever seen in a fragrance game. And top of that, this one has a magnetic cap like this, okay? Very beautiful, futuristic, kind of like a space shuttle sort of a vibe. Like if aliens are, you know, dropping by, they're going to be, in these kind of uh, shuttles, okay, or alien, I don't know, whatever you call that, you know, a rocket or whatever. So this one, uh, one thing is a bit annoying is that cap, you really need to use your nails, otherwise it's very difficult to take it out. That one thing I did not like, but other than that, really good value. So this is here for a reason, this is very underrated, nobody talks about it. Uh, the Daniel Century got a lot of love, the Neroli freshness, but this one has this blue vibe that you also get from Sauvage and some of the other ones, but it's really nice. It's uh, it's a very nice fragrance for, you know, like a summer casual usage and this is super affordable. This is also big bottle, I think 135 mil or something. I forgot 4.135 yeah, mil, unusual bottle size, but you get a lot of juice, really good value, really nice smell and decent longevity. Okay, Dunhill Century Blue. Check out my review on that one. Number 13, I'll go with this fragrance. Yesterday I showed, not yesterday, day before yesterday, I showed the Soar version. Today I'm showing you Bulgari Purom Extreme. Okay, so there are three from the line, Bulgari Purom, Soar and Intense. So, oh sorry, extreme. So extreme version looks like this, transparent. And I think this is betterment on the original Bulgari Purum. The reason being this one has a beautiful, again, tea note, a little bit of a smoke or spice, something like it. It's strong, you know, let me just go one spray, just to tell you. Uh, it's very citrusy up top, very uplifting. If you enjoy a morning cup of tea, this is a perfect pair with that cup of tea, okay? Definitely check out. Bulgari's hidden gem. These are getting hard to find. Prices are going high, but amazing fragrance. You have to try it at least once. I have one more, something similar to this, but uh, not yet. Okay, so Bulgari's uh, Purum Extreme. Beautiful fragrance from House of Bulgari. Okay, <clears throat> now I have uh, 12, I think. Number 12, I don't know. <laughs> Next one is this one. Uh, this is called Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau. I understand recently they have released more extreme, like darker version or intense, like Le Beau Intense or something. That bottle is much darker in color. So this one, when I got it, it was it has been like a number of years already. And this is a flanker to perhaps you can say Lamal line, but Lamal Le Parfum or Essence de Parfum, those kind of uh, newer 
bottle shape. So this is beautiful looking bottle, juice color is amazing. This, this one has a leaf on the crotch. But this perfume, it's not the beast mode fragrance, which I like about it. At first I thought it could have a little bit better performance, but I'm, it's, I'm like, it's okay. If you go for Kenzo Om Night, that one perhaps is a better uh, longevity, similar smell. But what I like about Le Beau is that it has this nice little fresh coconut vibe. Let's say you are spending, spending some holiday time, you know, in the summertime and you just want to take a fragrance with you. Like you're waking up in the cottage, you see the first thing in the morning is that sandy beach, you know, and you see the sun, sunrise. When I have some breakfast after a brief morning walk, this is the fragrance. It will just enhance the mood of your holiday, okay? Le Beau by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Sweet, uh, you can say sweet, tropical, coconutty goodness, okay? Number 11, then we hit top 10, I think, yeah, number 11, I got them right. Number 11 is this gem. I mentioned it a lot in my early days and I just saw the bottle hiding somewhere there in my uh, shelf. I haven't seen this or used it in a while. Burberry's Weekend, okay? This is like an older batch. The newer bottles, box design changed a bit, but this one is amazing. If you want one of the best lemon-based perfumes, super underrated. And I think this one is also very good because the price range in these, for these are so cheap. If you like uh, Le Labo Bergamo 22 style of fragrances, this is definitely comparable, but performance is epic. Very beautiful, strong lemon, citrus, a little bit of green, I believe, in the dry down. This is Burberry's Weekend. Definitely check it out. It's a small bottle, but it's 100 ml, okay? Great fragrance for the morning time. So number 10, I'll start with uh, this fragrance, that clear, uh, clean, fresh, musky, citrus, kind of like a rhubarb, Sikya All, okay? You get this 200 ml, it's gonna be cheaper than most of your designer perfumes in the market, okay? And this one has decent longevity too. It's uh, comparable, I only compared this with Lacoste Lome a little bit because they both shared that rhubarb note, but such a nice musky, fresh, citrusy fragrance to wear in the morning. I get headache from the CK1 uh, sometimes with the florals. This one is beautifully balanced, you know, really nice. Uh, it's one of the best. If I make top five CK, this is gonna make it easily, okay? And great value also, CK All. Great fragrance for summer mornings. Next one, another white bottle, but this is my older uh, bottle, okay? This is Hugo Boss Bottled Unlimited, okay? See the name? So if you get the older box, which has the green line somewhere in the box, uh, which is the vintage, if you can get vintage versions of this, it's gonna have longevity of eight hours plus. And that is crazy. Freshy, you know, this is my very first purchase from one of the shops in Bangladesh. And I think I got them in 2017. The first bottle, I still have the bottle somewhere. Uh, I was surprised how much this lasts, you know, it's for a freshy green mint, sorry, green apple, mint, citrus. And I think there is one more note I just forget, pineapple, yeah. So if you see the atomizer color, it will give you an idea, it's green, okay? And this bottle, um, one of my dear brothers, uh, Shafi Bhai, my uh, admin of my group, he told me yesterday, brother, I'm just wearing this, it's just nostalgia, bringing back good memories. And that's it, you just feel like, oh, I used to use this a lot in back in the days, right? One of the best flankers from Hugo Boss. Great longevity. The newer one, you can get like four to five hours. This one, the older batch will get you around seven to eight hours on the shirt and skin combined. Hugo Boss bottle, unlimited. Next one, perfect fragrance. This is like a summer morning, you know, spring morning in a bottle. And you have to get this bottle before it's completely gone. Huge bottle of Mugler Cologne. It's called something else right now. I think uh, Kamu come with come together or something crazy name anyway so Mugler Cologne basically is one of the best Mugler fragrance for summer and spring and they basically made like a bar of soap Mugler wanted to make a cologne the story behind this I heard was he took a holiday somewhere and then he was inspired by the morning of the uh, hotel where he woke up and then he saw the freshness of the morning and he saw, saw some grass or something like that so basically he just wanted to create something people don't want to wear a fragrance they can wear this okay Mugler usually have the darker ones but this is pretty nice, okay? Very good, long-lasting fragrance. Green, fresh Irish Spring soap in a bottle. Freshness, and they got the Neroli. And excellent longevity. Mugler Cologne, beautiful perfume. Next one is an unusual one. And someone asked me a couple of months back or one month back, Joy, you used to talk about this fragrance. What happened to it? You know, I said, I still have it. I'll show you in one of the videos. I love this house. I have reviewed quite a few, not quite a few, a few fragrances. This one is one of the underrated fragrance you can wear in summer and winter alike in the morning. This is just totally unique. Check out my review on this one. This is Karen uh, Purum Sport. That's what I call it, Karen An Purum Sport. Look at the juice color. If you see some green juice color, there are some green ones in the market, but this is very unique. This one, you know, it's like some sort of 
green leaf, very sharp, aromatic, got some spices to it and it's very different. It doesn't smell like any fragrance in the market. I think this is niche and I paid a hefty price step for it. It's not super cheap, but this perfume, if you ever smell it, I mean, if you get it, just take a look at the bottle. It's different. You can tell, right? And this is a big bottle also. I think, I think 120 mil or something like it. Yeah, big bottle. Okay. So this one, check out my review. It's kind of like herbal fresh green fragrance, totally different, mature, masculine, and um, it creates a statement just for personal pleasure. I would say Karen Puram Sport. I write down the name, don't worry. Number six, then I hit top five. Number six is this one, Burberry's Touch. One of the most popular fragrances in Bangladesh. I smell this everywhere. People wear this. Uh, I mean, it's a sharp fragrance. It's long lasting and it's affordable still under $50, I believe still. Burberry's Touch has that kick. It's fresh. It got this baby powder vibe, but so clean. So it's like a sweet, fresh, a peppery, sharp fragrance. Okay, just take my word for it. If you want to go for anything safe, you like Dior Sauvage, but you can't afford it. This is going to perform double than Dior Sauvage for a half price tag. Okay. Burberry's Touch is one of the best fragrances. I, I treat this summer fragrance like one of the best ever. Okay. If you like also Prada, um, Prada's what was the fragrance? Amber Purum, you would like the same type. Number five, let's talk about discontinued fragrance that nobody talks about. This is Bulgari Purum Extreme. Oh, sorry, not Purum. Bulgari Man Extreme. Bulgari Purum I showed already. This fragrance, it's one of those uh, summer flankers that got, you know, like flew under the radar. You know, it was not really available or uh, I think it was discontinued before the freight come really like took off. I would say uh, this, you got to try this, you know, great longevity, fresh. It has uh, kind of like a cactus note, I believe, some citruses and uh, very uplifting. Okay, very uplifting and smells like nothing else out there. Really absolutely love it. Just smell this fragrance, you'll see what I mean. I just love this in summer, higher the heat goes, this performs really well. Bulgari Man, extreme. Check it out, check out my review. Number four, we're gonna go with Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, for men, forever, okay? Uh, the names sometimes can get confusing. This is grapefruit goodness. I could show you Bulgari's Tiger, which cost three, four hundred dollars, which also has beautiful grapefruit, more citrus lemon, but this one for a designer, not bad at all. Authentic smelling grapefruit opening, great longevity if you like a little bit salt on top of your grapefruit this is that smell okay check it out doesn't smell like the peppery original like blue purum much much better and i think the bottle looks gorgeous too number four is dolce and gabbana like blue forever perfect fragrance for summer mornings now last three they're a little bit expensive okay compared to the previous ones except this one okay even the last uh, first three is gonna be a little bit more expensive reason being they're a bit higher class the house you know you know like one you know, <laughs> just that coffee. Anyway, uh, this last three are a bit expensive. I do not recommend you to go for gym wearing something expensive, but if you have the taste for something a little bit more pricey, you want to wear a bit more quality, more polished, these are fragrances I would highly suggest. Next one is called this one, Goldfield and Banks, uh, Pacific Rock Moss, one of the most high fragrances, one of the most talked about fragrance ones. And those who love it, they love it. This is super expensive, like hundred something dollars. And this is from Australia, right? I never seen this discounted. Even the testers are expensive, but this is a beast in summer. Do not listen to people. Get a sample. Try it at any mall that you like. Go on one spray on your skin and one on the shirt. Hire the heat. This fragrance continues to project, okay? All day, almost all day. Six, seven, eight, ten hours I get sometimes if the heat stays, okay? Like Versace Menu Fresh. Amazing fragrance. And I would say uh, do not listen to people. Uh, try it yourself. If you don't like it, that's fine, okay? This is Pacific Rock Moss. Number two, a little bit less expensive than that, perhaps, but not anymore. These fragrances from Chanel got like $100, $150. I think this one would be $120 around now. This is Chanel Allurum Spore, okay? This is called Cologne, okay? This is the transparent bottle. There's another one called Cologne Spore, same thing, basically. This is one of the best lemon-based perfumes out there, just period. If you like Diorum Cologne, do not get performance, get this, okay? so high class if you can get 150 mil that will serve you really well and for a freshie it has a little bit of spices on the dry down uh, it has body to it it's not just lemon so what i like about this fragrance it's so high class so high class you smell this on a guy or yourself or just on the strip you love it okay i rec i rate this very high okay so in the high, early morning you know it's like great fragrance if you just want to enjoy your walk and money is not an issue chanel Alirom sport cologne Leads me to number one. This fragrance is the most expensive in this list. Most expensive for a reason. This house is expensive, but 
and the reason is longevity uniqueness these fragrances just have their own class okay if you put this on and uh, if you just spray once great it will even cover until perhaps afternoon if you go two to three sprays this is called zerge of renaissance or okay, renaissance however you say it this is a class act okay i had a small bottle i sold it off i had a little bit of juice left i sold it off i was like nah it's not that special i like neo better i like kobe better but this one uh, you crave for it you know zerjobs have this property sometimes at first you're not impressed but more and more you wear it you see zerjob quality is just a different level my favorite is nexus for winter uh, summer i like 40 knots and this one this is renaissance check out my review that's my number one if money is not an issue so do let me know which ones are your favorite and do you wear fragrance in the morning when you go for morning walk i'm pretty sure you do because if you're a, a fan of fragrances uh, in general take care have a nice day and uh, smell good all the time bye bye